Welcome back, True Believers, to another Spider-Man Homecoming-related video, and today I have a very interesting topic to discuss about with all of you, and that is in regards to Michael Keaton's The Vulture and these two gentlemen that both seem to represent The Shocker. Now, we have right here on the right Logan Marshall Green, and he appears to look like The Shocker, of course, but then also in the international trailer... And also in the set photos that we saw of Shocker in the past, there was Bokeem Woodbine, who was supposed to be the one and only Shocker. Um, and he was the one who, I believe, who was suited up in the full-on Shocker uniform with the mask and the gauntlets and everything. And he, in the international trailer, he is the one with the actual Shocker gauntlets. Um, so, it is very interesting that we see two of them here, which begs the question... Is Shocker actually going to be the Shocker in this movie? And what I mean by that is, are we going to have the one and only definitive Herman Schultz Shocker? Or are the Shockers a gang? Are they a gang that Spider-Man has to fight in the movie? And is Michael Keaton the one leading them? Because in the international trailer that we saw of Spider-Man Homecoming, Michael Keaton has a line in that trailer saying, The world's changing, boys. Time we change, too. And... We do not know who he is talking to. So it could just be some random thugs, those people with the Avengers mask on in the beginning of the movie, or what I think is the most likely um, fact, or the most likely choice, is these Shocker people, these Shocker gang members. And it's really interesting that this one right here, Logan Marshall Green, has this weird kind of gauntlet arm gun laser thing, and then Bokeem Woodbine Shocker has the gauntlets. And we do not know if that is a faction that was hired by uh, the Vulture, if this is like a mercenary group, or if Bokeem Woodbine is the head of this group and he is the main Shocker and he has these other fake Shockers or these Shocker goons to kind of like psych out Spider-Man because Spider-Man has to first encounter Shocker and then we actually have to see him fight Shocker as the full-on villain of Shocker. And then he has these kind of side henchmen who... They're going to be thrown off by with these the yellow arm jackets and stuff like that. Because I think this one looks more like Shocker with this jacket. This jacket is more um, identifying to the jacket that was shown off in the full-on Shocker costume. And then the one that Bokeem Woodbine had, that one was more brown and less padded. Like this one, it has that um, kind of plaid padding on the arms. Whereas Bokeem Woodbine's is just a yellow sleeve. He just has yellow sleeves. This one seems more like the Shocker that we know and love. Um, but I think it's a really interesting question. Some people are uh, assuming that Vulture is the head of the gang, or at least the Shocker gang, and that is going to be a task that he is going to challenge Spider-Man with. So meaning that he's going to send out these gangs across the city, he's going to study Spider-Man's movements, and then that's going to give him an upper advantage when they fight. Um, which is why, what, which begs the question, Do Mr. Donald Glover on the left side is right there. And we still have no idea who his character is. Um, you know, a lot of people were still speculating for some reason that he's going to be Miles Morales. That is definitely not Miles Morales. We need a younger person who's younger than Tom Holland in order for that person to be Miles Morales. And for uh, Donald Glover, the most highly assumed option right now is Mr. Aaron Davis, a.k.a. The Prowler. I speculate a long time ago, if you remember, I did a video titled, Is Donald Glover Rocket Racer in Spider-Man Homecoming? That's a really far-out Spider-Man, um, you know, character that Spider-Man knows. But now seeing that he's with these Shocker members, I think it's more likely pointed to he could possibly be a villain and most likely The Prowler. Um... This outfit, though, that he has on is very interesting. I, it's not really reminiscent of any other character that I know of, except for Aaron Davis. So I think he could possibly be the Prowler, and that'd be really cool if the Prowler, these two Shocker members, there probably might be more members, and the Vulture all form one giant villain band, basically, to try and take out Spider-Man, along with the Tinkerer's technology to fight him off. So I think it's cool if the Vulture is in charge of the Shocker gang, because that would be really cool to see be played out on screen. And that would make Vulture an even more deadly adversary than we already think he is. So thank you so much for watching this video, True Believers. Stay spectacular, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.